Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another tutorial on Etch Red. Um, this is going to be something of an experiment that I uh, was playing around with earlier and uh, so I just wanted to show it to you today. So let's start off, um, we're going to create a combinator. So let's do that. Then inside the combinator we're going to create a uh, line mixer. Underneath that we're going to create a subtractor and I'm going to select a patch that I have prepared. It's a modulating pad patch. It sounds like this. But it won't sound like that when we're finished. So um, let's do that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create an etch red our main source there for some modulations. Uh, underneath that we're going to create another instrument. I'm going to create an Octorex. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to select a loop to play in that. So that's what it sounds like. Um, I am also going to duplicate this. So let's duplicate that. Uh, let's also go into the second loop slot and let's open up another loop, something completely different. And so now we've got two different loops in there. So let's just play those. Actually, we're not going to play those because they're not connected, um, which is good. So let's flip around to the back. Um, we can see that the Octorex is connected to the mixer and we can also see that the etch red from the subtractor is connected to the mixer. So we've got those two tracks that are playing together. The third one is going to be, kind of, it's a duplicate of this one, but uh, we're only going to use it for the gate output. And we're going to send the gate output into the gate input on the etch red. So uh, when you run it, you're going to see the envelope being triggered. So click on run, and you'll see it's being triggered, but there's no sound being heard, which is exactly what we want. Um, both of these are playing the same loop. They're, they're playing the exact same one. The only difference is that the second one has a second loop in there. Um, so, let's play this. Okay, and before we do that, um, let's just hear how this pad sounds. Oh, that's right. Forgot. We have to go into the programmer. Go to the first octorex and we don't want it to receive notes we also don't want the second one to receive notes so let's just turn those off perfect we can hear the pad sound and we can also hear this if it runs nice okay so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to modulate this pad sound using some filtering so let's select the, um, the fatty filter. It's going to be set to low pass, which is a default. And then we can play around with it. So let's put it at about 240 or so. OK, let's select the envelope. Let's move the curve all the way up. Let's move the decay down to about or so. Let's turn the gain down just a little bit. Okay, and then we can also use the envelope to control the resonance. And what's happening is that that second loop that's playing through, it's triggering this envelope, and then we're using that to um, adjust how the filter frequency and resonance sound. We're also going to select, in the drive setting, we're going to select the half rect, which I would assume stands for rectify, so half rectify. Uh, we're going to turn the level down, just so we don't completely screw with our ears. And we're going to use the LFO1, unsync it, Turn the rate up to about 300, no, let's go to 400, 425. And let's use that to morph the drive setting. Okay, 
so it's starting to sound good. Now we can just add in our Rex loop to play behind it or alongside it. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Now, um, let's just do one other thing. Let's go down into our second loop. Let's select the second, or our second Dr. Octorex and select the second loop. And let's hear how that sounds together. So you've basically got two different um, loops kind of competing with each other for the type of rhythm that's going on and it can create some you can create some very complex rhythms this way um, let's have a little bit more of an experimentation with this let's add in some fm take lfo2 unsync it push it up a little select a square wave Change the FM LFO to 2. Okay, I like the sound of that. The only difference that I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a little bit more creative. I'm going to select the envelope again, and I'm going to use this envelope um, so that we can kind of um, add that into the FM sequence as well. And we're going to adjust the rate of LFO2 just a little bit. Can you hear how that changes the sound of it? Doing this, you can very easily switch back to the original loop. And you can go back and forth. So that's it in a nutshell. That's how you can use the envelope to create some different modulations in Etch Red. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I'm Rob, and you can come visit me at reason101.net. Thanks a lot for watching.